What's up guys, pardon me for the noise, I will have b-roll for most of this video, but it's CGT here, and I'm going to be doing a video of the top 5 drones of my choice, which I think are all really cool, you should check them out there in your budget, I think the most expensive one was $1,000, the cheapest one was like $500, but if you can, check out these drones, links for all the, there will be two sets of links, one for the drones websites and the other for Amazon, so... So yeah, let's get into this video. Okay, start off this video with the Parrot Bebop 2.0. Parrot tried to redeem themselves. I can't say that they did. The camera's still the same quality. There's still mainly the same issues. The Parrot Bebop 2.0 is a bit better, but I would recommend you check out the 1.0. They're about the same, but Bebop 2.0, it has better range supposedly there are more features that now came out like the FPV system which is really cool and then you have the fact that it's doesn't have a gimbal so it's much smaller but competitors now have defeated that such as the DJI Mavic but that's for later right now you can see it takes awesome footage but it doesn't look all like that once you get it it the footage is pretty grainy and it's a decent drone but would I recommend buy it well you, first of all to get a good edition you'd have to have a sky controller and that costs you around eight hundred dollars and for that much money you're paying for a 1080p camera and the portability factor is thrown out the window once you have the sky controller and for eight hundred dollars you get the DJI Phantom Advance which has light bridge for 1080p and can fly way farther has better battery life and overall a better company with a better promising system. The fourth camera on this list is the 3DR Solo. Now if you haven't realized Solo has closed down their 3DR and have stopped making them which makes it significantly cheaper. I've seen this run as low as 350 on eBay but you can get it on average with the gimbal for 450 or 400 without the gimbal which is a pretty great deal for a drone. The downside is that the Solo did have many issues and flaws but for the people who did spend who, for the people who got their money's worth it was definitely worth it. I can tell you that much because the Solo it's a great drone it just some of them had issues because for the people who didn't have issues the solo was perfect so if you can I highly recommend you get the solo because it's a risk take but it's a great drone in the end and I really would just say the solo is one of the best drones and it was not to mention the first drone that came out with the smart technology like the follow me features in the orbit so if I would have to say, I would say get the 3DR Solo. Now, I do know, I think the other 3DR drone had the following features, but yeah, I really would recommend this drone if you want to take the risk. It has so many features if you do get a great drone, and there are a few flaws for the people who do get a good drone. And as you can see, it captures amazing footage with the GoPro, which is very acceptable, and there is not as much warping as you would think but GoPros do have warping and this may be because of where it's placed but I hope you guys think of this drone when you think of buying one but yeah on to the next one stealing third you see Autel Robotics with the X-Star Premium this drone is a pretty decent drone it's pretty much the Phantom 3 Professional that's cheaper I believe this runs for around $700, which is a steal for what you get. You get a 4K camera and visual positioning system. You get a smart feature. It runs on a tablet.
If you knew the strong was going to be on this list, well then you knew it was probably going to take first or second. In second place, we have the GoPro Karma. The GoPro Karma takes second because, well, by this point you should know which drone takes first. But as you can see, the GoPro Karma is super easy to take around everywhere. The only downside is that this is more for action sports and action cameras, mainly because with the GoPro Karma, as you can see with the GoPro Hero 5, you get a ton of work. I mean, it's not horrible when you're talking about sports and stuff, but for a professional cinematographer, this isn't something you'd want to get. It is compact and light, but for the price of $1,100, you get a GoPro Hero 5 and the stabilizer gimbal and the Karma. If you just need the drone and you already have the cameras you need, then I recommend you get the drone up next if you're worrying about compact size and portability. This drone you still have to take in a backpack though, and is a hassle to set up in some scenarios. This drone you can also not catch, which may not be the best, say you're kayaking like that guy, but it is a great drone and a great option if you want to get a, something related to GoPro. And if you already have a GoPro Hero 4, you can get the drone for only $795, which is great if you already have a GoPro. But if you don't, once again, you're looking at a $1,100 price tag, which you can get much better drones for if you want to get professional quality footage. Not saying this isn't professional, but like I said, it's not the best that you can get for the price. So if you're looking for a camera that comes with a drone and a stabilizer then by all means get the Karma but if you're just looking for a drone that's compact and small do not get the Karma I recommend the next drone on this list but yeah so I really would recommend the Karma I mean it's a really great drone but there's a better option this drone is about the best I mean even if you search GoPro Karma this drone pops up so let's get into the number one spot but before I go there let me show you some honorable mentions that I did not include but definitely should have. As 99% of drone enthusiasts could have guessed, in first place we have the DJI Mavic. Why? Because it's a f compact Phantom 4. If you didn't know, the Phantom 4 is one of the best drones on the market. It can basically fly into a wall and stop itself, as long as you're not in sports mode. Phantom 4 is one of the best drones. Wait, I'm not talking about the Phantom 4. I'm talking about the DJI Mavic. The Mavic is the Phantom 4. In a smaller form factor, you can fit this in your pocket. Unlike the small backpack that the Karma has, it records stunning 4K footage and has a 3-axis gimbal. And for the people who are like, well, I want to buy the Beepop, I mean, it's small too. Well, if you want to buy the Beepop because it's small, a, this thing has a small controller. B, for the price that you can get the Beepop and the Sky controller, you can also get this with no controller and you control it with your phone. Now, if you are like, well, I really need a controller, then just save up 300 more dollars because it's definitely going to be worth it. Over And I still recommend this for $800 over the $800 Sky controller with the Beepop, mainly because this drone is way better in all ways. You couldn't tell me how this drone is worse than any other drone in this price range, in this price range. Um, the only reason why I would recommend the Phantom 4 over this is because if you needed a sharper image, which you won't even be able to tell, but for the people who would need a drone small, for the people who are buying a drone for the form factor, you usually aren't using it in a super professional shoot where a form factor could like just be blown out the window. You could have a freaking S1000 there. But for people who need the small form factor, this is about the best drone that you can get. This is the smallest drone, the easiest to fly. Look, you can freaking fit your phone in the controller. It's about the best drone that you can get for the money. So, that's going to end this video here today. I hope you guys like, subscribe, and enjoy for more content. I will be doing more videos like this, but that is all from today. Goodbye from CGT. Peace.